In this video, we will be focusing on basic remote PTO controls on PACCAR MX engines. These features are available through the 12-pin connector located outside of the cab. Functions covered in this video include enabling PTO mode, enabling PTO speed control, bumping or ramping engine speed, and remote throttle control. To perform these functions, your truck must be equipped with the updated Kenworth Multiplex electronic system introduced in October 2018 on all 2.1 meter cab models. For this example, the 12 pin connector is located back of cab, but is also available under the hood or at the end of frame depending on preference. The diagram on the screen shows each pin's function. Pins 1, 2, 5, and 6 are active low, which means there is a constant voltage to those pins which needs to be grounded to pin 8 in order to activate the function. Pins 3, 4, and 10 are used for remote throttle control. Pin 7 supplies 12 volt ignition power, and pin 11 supplies 12 volts when the engine is running. Before the engine can be controlled from outside of the cab, PTO mode must be enabled, and if equipped, the cab remote switch on the dash must be set to remote. To enter PTO mode, turn on the PTO dash switch to engage the PTO. Once the PTO is known to be physically engaged, PTO mode will be enabled. As an alternative, PTO mode can be enabled remotely from outside of the cab. The PTO mode switch on this controller is wired to complete the circuits between pins 5 and 8. When the connection between the pins is made, PTO mode will be activated. The next step is to enable PTO speed control. PTO speed control allows the engine RPM to be controlled using bump ramp switches or preset switches on a remote controller. Note that PTO speed control does not need to be active in order to use a remote throttle controller. The PTO speed control switch on this controller is wired to complete the circuit between pin 6 and 8. When the connection is made, PTO speed control will be enabled as long as no interlocks are triggered. Now that PTO mode is active and PTO speed control is enabled, the engine speed can now be controlled from a remote station. Completing the circuit between pin 2 and 8 will increase engine RPM. This controller has a self-returning switch connecting the two pins. Turning the switch on momentarily will bump the engine in programmed increments. The default is set to a 50 RPM jump for each bump. Holding the switch will ramp the engine at a constant rate which can be programmed depending on preference or application. The default ramp rate is 250 RPMs per second. Completing the circuit between pin 1 and 8 will decrease engine RPM. Decreasing engine RPM functions the same as increasing RPM. Turning the switch on momentarily will bump the engine speed down, and holding the switch will ramp the engine down. The rates at which the engine speed increases and decreases can be programmed in PACCAR Vehicle Pro and are explained in a separate video titled Programming Remote PTO Features. Another feature available on the 12-pin connector is the application road speed limiter. This feature can be set to limit the road speed of the truck when a signal is sent from a switch, which in many cases is installed on a body. For this example, there is a switch connected to the dump box, which is active when the box is up. When active, it limits the truck to 10 miles per hour until the box is lowered. The application road speed limiter is controlled by connecting the circuit between pin 9 and 8. It can be programmed so the limiter is active when the circuit is closed or when the circuit is open. If you want the limiter to be active if the switch were to fail, it should be programmed to activate when the circuit is open. Finally, the remote throttle control is also available on the 12-pin connector. The remote throttle allows the engine RPM to be modulated using a knob, dial, or throttle pedal outside of the cab. To use the remote throttle control, Pins 3, 4, and 10 from the 12-pin connector will need to be connected to a potentiometer to modulate voltage. Pin 10 provides 5 volts to the voltage input on the potentiometer. Pin 4 is the sensor input which reads the voltage returned and should be connected to the signal pin on the potentiometer. Pin 3 is the analog return or ground which should be connected to the ground pin on the potentiometer. Turning the remote throttle knob on the controller varies the voltage and modulates the throttle control. In order to function properly, the potentiometer should be calibrated to return no less than 0.3 volts at idle and no more than 4.25 volts at full throttle. 
If the voltage goes outside of the 0.3 to 4.25 volt range, the remote throttle control will be canceled and the engine will return to idle. If the remote throttle control is canceled by an interlock or disabling PTO mode, the remote throttle control must be reset back to the idle position before it can be reactivated.